Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, we are going to talk about not just one fragrance but two different fragrances. Now, both of these fragrances are from the brand Salman Khan, uh, fresh. And the first one is Workout, and the second one is Party. Now, why did I choose these two fragrances? Uh, I'll be telling you in the later part of the video. Uh, so, in, the, in today's video, we'll be talking about the fragrances, the presentation, the, and then we'll go for the note breakdown. Uh, we'll also see that what are these fragrances inspired from. And at the last, uh, we'll also be discussing whether this fragrance is a worth buy for you. The first fragrance which we're going to talk about is Workout. And uh, just a quick look at the presentation of the box. Uh, this is a very uh, simple plastic box. Uh, then again, the logo again at the top, uh, Salman Khan here, then the brand name. Uh, the perfume name, this is a this is an EDT concentration. At the back of the box you can see the MRP, the cost, the batch, batch, batch it is from, the expiry date and the ingredients of the fragrance. A quick look at the bottle here. So the bottle of the fragrance uh, looks good. Uh, this is a plastic cap, so you, it is a very tight cap. You can hold the fragrance from the plastic cap. Then again, uh, what I like about this fragrance is that uh, they have tried to make it look good. Uh, that reminds of the fragrance again, uh, very good. Uh, the straw design in this looks very premium. Let's talk about the notes of this fragrance. So at the side of the box, you can see the notes of the fragrance. The top note is violet, alumi and basil. The heart notes are nutmeg, cedar wood, tonka beans. And the base note is leather, patchouli and labdanum. So this fragrance is a very green kind of fragrance from what I see at the top notes. This has the use of alumi, which is very rare and alumi along with basil. So what they're going for is a very green kind of fragrance. First impressions of workout would be that this is a very herbal green kind of fragrances. This is not so strong as the other fragrances in line. Uh, now, why do I say that is because the fragrance starts to move very quickly towards the base note. It does have a leather and sadar character, uh, though cooled down by the accompanying notes. The workout definitely has a lot of basil mints used in this fragrance to make it green. But what makes it even much more greener is the LME used in this. Now, LME is again a very sour herbal kind of uh, scent. Now, adding LME to the fragrance of basil really makes this fragrance a very green kind of fragrance. So the top notes of the fragrance are very green. Talking about the middle note of this fragrance, uh, after 20 to 25 minutes, you start to feel the middle notes pop out. Uh, the first thing you start to notice is a lot of nutmeg. Now nutmeg is basically the entire uh, middle note, so there is no use of tonka beans. Uh, even though it is mentioned, I do not feel uh, tonka beans to be a very prominent note in this fragrance. Uh, but uh, nutmeg is for sure uh, the very prominent note of this fragrance. It adds to the spiciness of this fragrance. If you ask me, I would classify this under a semi-aquatic blue-green kind of fragrance. Uh, it definitely lacks the earthly vibes which makes it a forest kind of uh, scent. This is green, smooth, but uh, definitely a lot of synthetic elements used in this fragrance. If you ask me what I feel about this fragrance, this fragrance is inspired from the Jacques Bogart in Braille Edition. So why do I say that is because it shares not only shares most of the notes from this fragrance, but uh, also the start of the fragrance is uh, very much similar to that. Uh, where it lacks is the earthly vibe which that fragrance gives. Now what I'm baffled about and I don't understand is why would you need to make a fragrance like Workout when you have fragrances like Jacques Bogart's Emerald Edition. So when you have the Emerald Edition which costs you around 1100 to 1200, why would you make a bottle for uh, 399 for 30 ml of the bottle so that will equate to around roughly the same price. But in Jacquees Bogart's perfume, we get a lot of earthly vibes. So for guys who are a big Salman Khan fan, you will definitely go and purchase this fragrance. But uh, if you ask me, uh, I would definitely say a very big no to the fragrance because an alternative is only used in case when the original perfume is very expensive. So why would you go and buy this fragrance when you have uh, OMS Emerald Edition again? That fragrance has uh, been tested for the last uh, 12, 13, 13 years. So that fragrance was reformulated recently in 2018. So if you have the opportunity, go and buy that fragrance, buy, buy this fragrance. Some of the longevity of this fragrance, this fragrance performs average uh, two to three hours uh, max on dry skin, uh, use it after shower. Talking about the application of this fragrance, you can apply this fragrance. Uh, this is a very spring, winter kind of fragrance. So don't apply it in summer. This will not give you a very good performance and then there might be a lot of complaints. Uh, there are some other fragrances in the same line which are better performance fragrances. So this in particular, I would not recommend you. Again, the silage and projection of this fragrance, the projection of this fragrance is very close to the skin. Uh, it does not project that well. Uh, the notes of this fragrance are no doubt unique. If you want to smell these kind of notes for the first time, definitely go for this fragrance. If you want something much more stronger, uh, go for the other variant, that is Fresh Party. So that brings us to the second fragrance of the day. The fragrance which we are going to talk about now is Fresh Party. So a quick look at the box again. Uh, the box is again the Fresh brand. The Perfume name, Salman Khan, obviously. This is again an EDT concentration. At the back of the box, you can see the MRP, the patch number, the ingredients of this fragrance at the side of the box. You can see the notes. The top notes of this fragrance are absinthe, anise, and fennel. Uh, heart notes are lavender. Base notes is vanilla and musk. 
Now this fragrance is again a very good fragrance and this is what a fragrance should be. Why do I say that is because uh, take a look at the bottle. The bottle is again very same similar to the bottle which we saw for workout here. But uh, the difference is uh, not in the bottle but the juice itself. Now Party is a clone of uh, 212 VIP Black from the brand Carolina Herrera and uh, this is what a fragrance should be and why do I say that is because I am really I was really skeptical at the start but uh, the more you try to apply this fragrance the more you like this fragrance so now this fragrance already has a very complex notes as we see uh, use of absinthe along with anise and fennel uh, this will definitely make it a much more dark and scent and dark and sweet kind of fragrance so this fragrance will be very intense so workout misses a lot of things is that workout is very linear in nature so it starts with a lot of green notes then there is some set I would added in the middle and at the end you see that uh, it uh, settles down with leather and uh, patchouli but uh, essentially green notes is the entire essence of this fragrance so this will be very green let's talk about party now party changes its uh, notes according to what it says opening itself is very strong it opens with a very strong uh, projection of licorice sweet and spicy kind of fragrance so then again a very masculine kind of fragrance it gives you a very masculine kind of feel what i mean uh, when i say that this fragrance is a very masculine fragrance the opening of this fragrance is uh, very sharp very clean very uh, a lot of spicy notes you use in this fragrance again this fragrance is what a fragrance should be and uh, like there's another clone from 1965 uh, 1965 from fresh right that is a clone of uh, Mansira Sidrat Boys and uh, Creed Aventus. So that is uh, amalgamation of both of those fragrances. We'll be talking about that too uh, in some other video, maybe some other day. So let's talk about this fragrance. Now this fragrance is what uh, I'm very impressed about, impressed with this fragrance. Uh, what I really don't like about this fragrance, we'll be discussing in the later part of the video. Let's start with the first impressions of this fragrance. Now absinthe, anise and fennel are the top notes of this fragrance. So absinthe is so the absinthe part in this no fragrance it can be described as very sweet, uh, very spicy, very uh, energetic kind of, it gives you a very energetic kind of feel. Whereas the anise and the fennel in this fragrance makes it a very close, warm, spicy, sweet and uh, powdery kind of fragrance. So the opening of this fragrance itself is very uh, impressive, very impressive. Now mixing the notes of absinthe, anise and fennel uh, is very difficult and this is what ma makes this fragrance a very complex kind of fragrance. As some time passes, uh, the fragrance starts to get subdued and the initial notes of this fragrance start to lose their intensity and simultaneously the notes of uh, vanilla and, and musk start to pos pop up. Now you feel the lavender of this fragrance to be the at, at the very back of this fragrance, so it is very far back in this fragrance. The vanilla notes again of this fragrance are not very gourmand notes, or not very edible notes. What it is, is a very cool vanilla and what, what I mean by cool vanilla is it makes this fragrance much more appealing. Uh, it does not make this fragrance warm but it makes it much more cooler and uh, cools down the entire tone of the fragrance. Towards the end uh, when the fragrance has lost most of its uh, top notes charm uh, you can smell a very sweet kind of vanilla in this fragrance so even after six to seven hours uh, when you apply this fragrance you'll definitely feel, still feel a lot of sweet touch from the vanilla. So all in all what I would say that uh, party is a much better fragrance if you want to buy fragrances from the brand uh, Salman Khan Fresh. Uh, what I don't like about uh, both of them is that uh, they do not give a very loud projection. So not they are not very loud. And what I mean by very loud is that um, they are very close to the skin kind of fragrances. So uh, that is where Salman Khan's fresh could work on, work upon. Definitely, party will give you a better projection than workout, and uh, it gives you a projection of two to three feet at the opening at the start. This lacks a lot of uh, essential elements, and uh, you can definitely go and buy the original fragrance. And that is again OMS uh, Emerald Edition. So OMS Emerald Edition is again cost you little cost you around 1200 rupees and this fragrance is again 1000. Fresh Party you can definitely go and buy this fragrance because Carolina Herrera's 212 VIP Black is again very expensive and this is a very good cheaper alternative to the fragrance. So guys uh, that was my review on both of these fragrances. I hope you like the review. Uh, do let me know in the comment down section what you think uh, could have been better in both of these fragrances and uh, if you are a Salman Khan fan definitely uh, subscribe to my channel uh, i'll be making some more reviews uh, of salman khan's fresh brand so we'll be making reviews of 965 and then again they have brought some clones of isami aki Porham, and we'll be making reviews of that too in the further part of the video uh, for uh, people who would like to buy these fragrances i have attached a link in the description down below uh, you can buy this fragrance if you're a salman khan fan you can definitely go and buy this fragrance if you love uh, carolina herrera so that was all uh, 
Have a nice day, everyone.